Hi, my name is Rebecca Sackett. I'm going to do a quick video on how to show calendar view in Power Apps off of a SharePoint list. Uh, it's pretty simple. Actually, it shouldn't take about 10 minutes or so. I'm uh, going to go ahead and create an app. We'll just start with a tablet format just because it's easier to lay out here. I've already created a data source. Uh, it's just a SharePoint list. I just have three columns, a title, a description, and then a date column. Uh, you could do date and time. We're just going to do date for now. Uh, if you want to set your theme, go ahead and do that before you get started. But we're going to go ahead and do a new screen. It's real easy. It shouldn't take but maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes probably to do this. Um, let's go ahead and connect to my SharePoint list real quick. I like to set up my data source right off the bat. So when I start referring to it, it's already there. team and a test list. I keep a um, test site that I keep a lot of these lists whenever I'm trying to make sure and get something working right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set the on visible, which we're going to set some variables here. I'm just going to paste this in, <clears throat> but if you want, you can just pause the video real quick and actually copy this exactly. This isn't specific to me. so. Uh, Here's what you would want. This is just going to set some variables, set the date selected, the first day of the month, and stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to close that. So we're just going to go down the line here, and we're going to set the visible property to everything true, because right now it's all set after this is selected. But since we're not going to use this, we don't need it. And then also we're going to go ahead and delete the stuff we don't need. So let's just go down the line real quick. So uh, we're going to leave that. That one's fine. Sorry, my building's loud. You don't realize how loud to start to video. Um, so I'm going to delete that, delete this, set this one. We're going to change the items, but we're going to come back and do that in a minute. So I'm just going to set this to true. This one is going to be set to true. This is showing the date selected, which right now it won't show till this you come to the screen because it's set for the on visible. So if you go back and then come back to it, you'll actually see that it's there. Uh, this one, the items will stay the same. There is some stuff in this gallery that will change, but that's all. And this one, I'm going to go ahead and set the visible true. Actually, won't change anything else on that. This one, we're going to change that on select, but for now, we're just going to do the true. We'll come back to that. Same with this. We're going to change the on select, but we're just going to make the visible true. This one won't have any changes. We're just going to make it true, uh, visible though. All right, so we're going to delete this. Uh, when we do, it's going to mess up the location of all these, so it's going to give them all red X's. Um, you can either take this stuff and drag it a little first, or you can delete it and drag them after the red X's show up. Either way. So we're just going to delete it so you can see what I'm talking about and see what it did. That's fine. So what we're going to do is just kind of take each of these and drag them down. Uh, the reason is is that their X and Y property were set off of the location, um, off of the choices off that drop down. So when we deleted it, it messed them up. So as long as we just drag this stuff all somewhere else, we're good and we're just going to keep going. So uh, this one actually is already visible, so we're good there. This one's just the title up top, that's the box up top, and this one we're going to change the visible to true. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and fix these on selects. So this is referring to the collection, which we're not using. So we're going to delete this portion of it here and this last semicolon. Um, this part we can just leave. Oh, we need one more close. And this one here, we're going to do the same. Delete this part that and that one more. Uh, notice how it highlights so it lets you make sure that you're getting all your stuff closed like you're supposed to. <clears throat> okay uh, let's go ahead and start with this gallery. So we're going to do this. This is showing what is selected here and it's filtering off that date. But we need to set it to our data source which is our SharePoint list. So we're going to change this which is going to be the name of our SharePoint list. 
Mine is called Test Calendar. And we're going to change this right here. The start is going to be whatever your column name for your date is. So mine is date scheduled. And this is what it is sorting by. Um, if you have time also in yours, then it would probably be a good thing to keep it sorted by that. But since mine is just a date, that actually does nothing. So I'm going to just sort mine by title. All right, so now that we've changed our data source, we're gonna have to change the fields in there because they're all have different names. So we're just gonna go down the line on these also. Uh, this is just the line, so there's nothing to do here. This is the time difference between your start and end time, but since mine does not have time, it just has a date, I don't need that, so I'm gonna delete it. This is gonna be the date. Probably really don't need this either. But while I'm testing it and making sure everything's working like it should, I definitely do want to keep this. So we're going to change this one to short eight. Uh, this one here I'm going to change to my description column. And also want to change the tooltip. Same with this one here, I'm going to change this one to my title column. And again, the tooltip. I'm just going to copy that and replace it with a tooltip. Uh, I don't need this, so I'm just going to delete that. And I'm just going to move that a little. That is the same thing they, uh, where the location was set off of that icon. So when I deleted it, it's why that X showed up. Uh, and then I'm not going to use this box. Uh, this is if you wanted to be able to edit stuff, you could click on this and it would actually select it like a button would, sort of. Um, I'm not doing that right now, but this is something that you would want to use if um, if you were wanting to actually be able to edit items but we'll do that at a different time so let's just delete it okay so this one is set so now we're going to work our way over here to this one um, the the names are confusing here so the sub circle is actually the big one and this one is the little circle so we're going to change the visible property of this and we're going to be filtering it similar to how we did the gallery over to the right side. We're going to change this to our data source and we're going to change the start date to our column name, date scheduled, and the rest of that should be fine. Okay, uh, I do have stuff if you notice. I have something scheduled on the 28th but you don't see it and the reason is is that this box and this dot are the same color. I don't like that. So what I do is I take the little circle and I change the color to something else and then also I have to bring it to the front. So now you can see the dots so I know if there's something scheduled today without being clicked on today. Okay, so now we can see here already uh, the 10th, here's what's scheduled, 14th, here's what's scheduled, the 18th, and such. Uh, and just real quick, we're going to go ahead and add in actually the ability to add more items to this calendar from the same screen. So let's go ahead and drag this stuff up. So we've got room. I'm just going to put a quick form underneath. Uh, nothing fancy. Let's just insert a form real quick. And we're going to tie it to that SharePoint list. Make it a new form. Let's just make it one column. Make all of it. I'm going to make it fit here real quick. Sorry, I'm always trying to get this just right. Normally that purple line will show. Oh, close enough. I'll fix it later. And... Why well, that's not... Oh, there it was. Okay. Um, let's see what our choice is. We don't need attachments. This we are going to use but I'm not going to make it visible. So what I want to do is make the date scheduled to whatever the date selected is. So I unlocked the card and I'm going to default it to that variable, date selected. So now you can see that whatever date I'm clicked on is what's going to be there. So once I have that set, I'm just going to actually go ahead and hide that. All right, and we need a button in the bottom, so let's just do a little moving around real quick so that we can fit it. 
that's good. All right, that's enough room. And we'll just put a button down here. Uh, if you're trying to fit a button in a spot here, you notice how the corners are rounded? If you want it to fit where it doesn't look funny, you can actually go here to the properties and change this border radius to zero. And now it fits in there good. So this is going to be to add to calendar. All right, so whenever you select this button, it's going to submit our form. Uh, go ahead and give us another new form. So if we want to do another one afterwards, we can. Um, for sure, if you're testing, you're going to go ahead and refresh that SharePoint list. And uh, let's go ahead and make it set back to default to the today after we've done that. So we're just going to add that real quick on the end. All right. So uh, let's say the 21st, we're going to add an item 21st. I know it's a lot of choices, but I like to put in stuff that I know is making it show up correctly so I can test it. I'm going to click, and now I've got a little dot there on the 21st. If I click on that date, it shows it is there, what I just scheduled. So. I uh, just want to click through, make sure I didn't schedule anything in the other month, but I'm just making sure everything shows up good. Uh, let's just test one more time, make sure. For the July party. Okay, and yep, yeah, so now I've got that there. Um, that is pretty much it. I mean, there's a lot of other stuff you could do design wise, but this has got the functionality here. So uh, a lot more you can do from here. If you wanted to be able to make it where you could edit these items, you could add um, the button or a box or something that you click to select this item in the gallery and it open an edit form. Uh, there's a lot more stuff that you could do with it, but this is the basics on how to get started. So good luck.